Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is 10th video in this series and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove or demote child domain from Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. So there was multiple reason to demote the child domain con uh, controller from your domain or forest infrastructure like uh, uh, the child domain is not more and uh, in use anymore and might be you have migrated all your users or uh, or uh, object ad object from child domain to parent domain and you don't need the child domain anymore so there was a multiple reasons to demote the child domain so in this video we are going to focus on how we can do it in the um, windows server 2019 uh, server or uh, this is going to be a same process if you are running any windows operating system server operating system so let's get in so this is the ADS um, ADDS removal workflow which we have worked on last videos as well as last two videos so the first thing we need to go to server manager then remove role and features then select the server which from which we want to remove and the server role and then it's going to give us validation result if the validation result say like you you have to remove uh, demote the active directory server first then you need to run the dc promo and demote the server then you need to type the proper credential to demote that server so in this in video we are going to uh, demote the child domain controller so we have to make sure we we are basically removing that information from our parent domain so we have to type our parent domain credential there and I will show you how we can do it and we have to verify this uh, uh, partition portion also what the partition we are going to change and delete and then it's going to give us warning and a DNS delegation credential and then uh, we have to supply the DNS delegation credential for local domain which is uh, going to be in our case noida.victorinfosol.local and then we have to set the new administrator password for local account and then confirmation and delete uh, demote and then finally we are going to get our result after reboot so let's uh, get in the lab environment and we'll see how we can uh, follow this uh, removal workflow to demote the active directory uh, child uh, child domain from active directory so this is my demo environment so we have two domain controllers here one for victorinfosol.com which is our parent domain and one for noida.victorinfosol.com which is our child domain so the parent domain we have uh, win2k19 dc01 which is running active directory and dns role and ip address is 192.168.0.201 so here is my server you can see this is my victorinfosol.local and uh, domain name is domain controller name is win2k19 dc01 and ip address is this so this is my parent domain and if i go here let's verify the cdc01 which is my child domain so you can see here this is noida.victorinfosol.local which is my child domain so which we are going to demote in this video so we are going to delete noda.victorinfosol.com from our production environment our parent domain so if I go to uh, active directory users and computer from parent domain uh, from my victorinfosol.local so if I change domain right click and change domain it will give you me a option to uh, see the noida.victorinfosol.local and we can change it if we require and let's verify the uh, site and services this infrastructure uh, child domain so if I go here under the servers sites this is my site name India and if I go to servers we have two domain controllers cdc01 and cdc01 so cdc01 is for my domain which is child domain victim for soul dot local so we are going to demote this in this video and one more thing we can see the domain trust between my parent domain and child domain so in active directory domain and trust if I select my parent domain and right click and properties and go to trust you will see here my child uh, uh, outgoing and incoming trust and trust type is a child so this is automatically going to remove uh, uh, post demotion of this uh, child domain so let's start get started so we have to go to our uh, server manager and then remove our role and features 
so from server manager manage remove role and features and click next then we have to select our uh, server and click next and then I'm going to select my active directory domain services and this is going to pop up management tool uh, so I'm going to remove these also and now this is going to run our validation validation and give us the validation result so if I go now here you can see this is giving demote the domain controller because the Active Directory domain controller need to be demoted before install uninstalling the Active Directory role so we are going to demote this and here's the catch we have to type here uh, our parent domain credential because we are writing we are going to remove it from parent domain so we have to type our parent domain credential here so my parent domain which is victim for so and user account credential for that domain and now I'm going to mark last domain controller in this domain which is uh, noida.victorinfosol.local so this is giving warning that the server is going to automatically restart after demotion operation so this is good click next and this is going to be give you the warning like uh, domain name server and global catalog is running on this machine so proceed with the removal so I'm going to remove these things next and now we have remove the DNS zoning and you can view the partition here if you see it's going to give you the view partition uh, tab also so if you view partition here what it's going to remove uh, you can see from here noida.victorinfosol.local so this is good and remove the application partition and remove delegation control so we have to insert the DNS delegation credential so I'm going to remove the DNS delegation from this domain so noida at administrator so this is good and now finally we have to insert the new administrator password so I'm going to type my administrator password here and click next now and this is the summary what we are going to do by this activity so remove active directory domain control uh, domain services from this computer and we have indicated this is the last domain of active directory domain control of the last domain control of this domain noida.victorinfosol.com so by default it's going to remove demote and after this process this domain is no more no more longer going to exist and remove DL, uh, DNS delegation yes so if you want you can save this script so just click on demote and now you can see the process is starting and it's going to take less than a minute to get the things uh, get the server rebooted so um, mostly it's going to be depend on how much big your infrastructure and uh, and what is this health status of your active directory infrastructure so you need to make sure all your domain control re, uh, read only domain uh, write, writable domain controls are available to replicate and all the uh, domain controls are replicated uh, to each other so this otherwise this uh, wizard is going to give some errors so y you have to make sure your AD status is in healthy healthy status then you can um, start this activity so you can see here active directory domain services successfully deleted from this machine so this is good so soon this machine is going to reboot now and if I go here and view the trust again go to properties and trust you will be able to see the trust has been removed which is there before for child domain so it means the child domain has been uh, demoted now you can see the successful demoted the active directory domain controller and now this machine is going to reboot automatically in few seconds so we have to wait for it so it's going to reboot soon so post the reboot it's not going to be a part of an, uh, a child domain which is noida.vector.infosol.local so we have to get in and this server by using the local credential which is um, administrator the default account is going to be administrator and the password which we have inserted during which we have set during the this wizard ad removal work for workflow wizard here so let's wait for it so survey is rebooted now we can go ahead and we can see the administrator and I'm going to type the password which we have set before 
so let's wait for server manager to pop up so now you can see the active directory uh, promote this server to a domain controller is coming means the server is no more and as working as a domain control and you can see this machine is now came in work group so this is good and now we are good to go and remove this feature click next select the server and now select the active directory domain services and I'm going to select the DNS server as well and I'm going to remove both and what this is going to do active directory remove active directory domain services DNS and all the management tools so I'm going to restart this server automatically after rebooting uh, removing these all feature roles and features so this is good and now the trust is has been removed automatically from child to parent domain so this is good and now if I go to here and right click and change domain I will not be able to see uh, my uh, child domain which is noida.victorinfosol.local anymore so that uh, the domain has been removed wiped and there was no existence of that domain and if I right click and refresh this I am able to see uh, the domain name has been removed from in front of the, the server site from active directory site and services so I am good to delete this machine permanently from here from site and services so go ahead and delete this now we have only one server and this site which is uh, dedicated to victorinfosol.local as a global catalog server so this is the only DC which we are going to have and uh, we don't have any more child domain in this infrastructure so we have successfully remove it. removed it so what I'm going to do now let's verify that to directory role has been uninstalled completely and the DNS as well so now you can see it's collecting the so removal succeeded so this is good and now you will be able to see this machine is no more going to have active directory and DNS server role installed on this machine so now no more active directory and DNS role on this machine and this machine is moved to vector um, workgroup mode so this is good everything is done now we can go ahead and shut down this machine and we are um, good to delete this machine from virtual uh, hard drive hard disk of the we are good to delete the basically hard disk of this virtual machine so if this is a physical machine you can go and unplug the network cables and the power cable and remove from the server rack and um, uh, since this is a virtual machine I'm good to go and delete the machine from disk so I'm going to right click and manage and delete from disk so now we have successfully demoted and clean up the active directory uh, from uh, for the child domain controller uh, child domain which was uh, noida.vectorinfosol.local so this is all about how to remove or demote child domain from active directory so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.